Hello learners, in this tutorial, I am going to explain how to create MySQL database in the Azure platform. So first of all, I will show you how to create that Azure uh, MySQL database. Then I will show you how to connect to that uh, MySQL database using MySQL web page. So I think uh, you can see my uh, Azure portal. So using this search bar, we can find that uh, MySQL uh, database. So you can see uh, Azure database for MySQL server. I am going to create that one. So I will click on this. Then it, then it will load to that uh, create window. So uh, using this create button or create Azure database for MySQL server button, you can create your database. So I will click on this button. Then it will load to that create page of the MySQL uh, database server. So uh, here you have to select the resource type. Uh, if you select this one, you have two options. One is flexible server, the one is the single server. So in this, for the demonstration purpose, I am selecting a single server and I will click on this uh, create button. Uh, yeah. After that, I have to select my subscriptions, then I have to give the uh, resource group, then uh, you have to give uh, the, the server name of the MySQL server. So I will give my name as MySQL server 01. This is my server name. I think uh, server name must be available. I think this server name is not available. So I will put as uh, data cafe mysql server one so this is my uh, uh, database uh, server name so uh, data source uh, i'm not taking any uh, backups so location is uh, east us then versions there are two versions available mysql 5.7 or 8.0 uh, i'm using the 5.7 version then uh, you have to uh, configure your server configurations like compute and the storage so i'm not going to use this default uh, configuration so uh, to change that one i have to click on this uh, configure then um, you can see in the right hand side uh, the the pricing summary will uh, display so my estimated monthly cost is uh, uh, 267 dollars it's not worth so for the demonstration purpose i will use basic uh, pricing model so the basic pri uh, pricing model i uh, select one week and my uh, storage is 5 gb then monthly it's about 25 dollars so it is enough for the demonstration purpose but if you are uh, creating a mysql database for your production environment you have to provision the required configurations okay so i will uh, tap on this ok button then you can see i have uh, select the basic pricing model with one v course and five gb storage so uh, after that you can see there are additional uh, tabs available so if you go to that additional settings you can uh, put data encryptions uh, if you want you can enable that one in addition to that uh, tags if you want to uh, link with the repository you can create a tag then uh, i'm not going to uh, link with any repository so in the review and create button you can see there is a validation pane uh, the requirement information is missing no not valid so if i go to that uh, basic you can see uh, yeah i haven't given the password actually i have given the uh, i haven't uh, yeah basically i uh, haven't included that password so i will include my password like this my username is data cafe admin so uh, i confirm my password now you can see password and confirm password yeah both are matches then we can click on the review button then you can see uh, there will no any issues with that then simply you can click on this create button to create your mysql server initializing my deployment submitting deployment you can see in the right hand side
Okay, after a couple of minutes, you can see my deployment deployment is complete. So uh, we can get the deployment details like this, and uh, you can go to the resource by click on this button. So this is the resource uh, we have created recently. Yeah, all the, the relevant information is displayed there uh, under overview section. So resource group, status, location, subscriptions, and subscription ID in server information that is very important when we are connecting to that uh, server through the uh, mysql workbench then server admin login name that is very important again version and the performance configurations and uh, database health that information uh, you can dis uh, view under overview in addition to that uh, you can get other informations like activity logs access controls and those things so if you go to that home you can see uh, we have created that uh, Azure database for MySQL single server. I think uh, successfully we have created our MySQL database in Azure. So now uh, as a second step, I will show you how to connect to that server through the MySQL workbench. Okay. For that, we have to get few informations from this database. So basically server name and uh, server admin login name password I can remember so those information uh, we need to get from that dashboard portal okay so already I have opened that one uh, at that MySQL workbench so uh, by click on this plus button you can create a new connection so I will click on this then uh, it will open a new connection uh, all the informations we have to give uh, in that window it will take a few seconds to open that window now you can see setup new connections window has appeared so i will give a unique connection name for this uh, connection name will be uh, my sql on Azure. this is my connection name then connection method is standard tcp ip so then we have to give the host name so host name we can take from our uh, server details so you can see this is the host name so simply you can click on this button to copy uh, copy to clipboard okay i copied this one then go to that setup connections and remove this default ip address and paste that information so default for port is 3306 which is relevant for the mysql so then i have to give the username so again i am going to this azure portal and take Server admin login name that is I'm copy these information and paste there. Remove this one, then paste. Uh, so uh, as the uh, default schema, I'm not selecting any uh, schema for that. Then uh, I will click on the test connection. So after that, it will pop up the uh, password window. It will give the uh, yeah, basically, because uh, the reason is we haven't uh, whitelist our public IP address. So now I will show you how to whitelist our public IP in the Azure portal. Then you have to uh, go to the uh, connection security app. So click on that. Then you can see uh, my current IP uh, public IP address. Then I click on this hyperlink. Then it will uh, whitelist my public IP. So click on this, then you can see that rule has enabled, then I will click on the save button. Okay, updating my connection security setting. So without any issue, I think now we can connect to our database, my SQL database. So it will take a few seconds after that, uh, it will apply for the MySQL server through the Azure platform. So now you can see successfully updated the connection security settings. So again, you can go to that uh, MySQL workbench, set up new connections and click on the test connection button. Now you can see I have to give the password for this database. So I will give the password like this, then click on the, if you want, you can save this password in the wallet. So I will put like this, then you can click on the OK button. I think uh, that connection is succeeded. So so successfully made the my uh, made the MySQL connection. So we have given all correct information. So click on the OK button. 
then you can click on the OK button. So if you go there now, you can see this uh, connection has successfully created. So I think uh, now you know how to connect to that uh, MySQL database using MySQL Workbench. Now I will show you how to create a simple database and how to query that database using uh, SQL. So uh, for that, actually, I have uh, prepared small scripts for that. So I will copy that scripts from my notepad and paste into the MySQL Workbench. Uh, so easily I can explain each and every step. So now I am going to connect to that MySQL database. So to connect, you have to click on this. Then it will open SQL Editor. Now you can see uh, the MySQL Workbench has opened a new uh, SQL Editor Query 1. So under schemas, you can see it's a fresh database. So there is no any database except system. This is the system database. So I will show you how to create a simple database and how to create a simple table and I show you, I explain you how to query this table using SQL language. So first of all, I will create a, a database for books. So I have a, a script in my notepad. So simply uh, I have copied and uh, paste that one. So uh, I'm going to create a database for books. So select this line and click on this, execute the selected portions of the script or everything. Normally I'm selecting the relevant uh, quotes. So click on this button, then you can see uh, create a database books that successfully affected. So if I refresh my schema, you can see books database has created. But uh, under this database, there is no any table. Now I am going to create a uh, table. Before that, I have to mount my database when I am executing. So for the mount, you have to uh, give a separate command. It is use books. Then when you are executing any queries, it will effect to that relevant database. So I am using this uh, books database. So going forward, when I am executing that queries, it will I apply for that database. So now uh, I'm going to create a simple table. Uh, table name is, uh, I will show you. The create table, the table name is author. There are three columns. Uh, one is ID, name, and the email. That table I'm going to create under this books table. Okay, now you can see that table has created within uh, 0.5 seconds. Refresh this one under table menu. You can see that author's table is available with three columns. You can see that information is available under this. Okay. Now uh, I will execute a separate command to show tables. If there is any other tables, so like, uh, basically uh, using these show tables, it will display all the available tables. Now you can see. Uh, that information is still fetching. So only author's table is there. So that information is displayed when you are executing this one. Then after that, I will show you how to insert sample records into this table. You can see I have created simple insert, uh, three insert statements. So uh, insert into author's ID, name, email, values, one, two, two, two. likewise. I have given the if, uh, three insert statements. Simply, I will select all three records and execute. You can see all three record has inserted. So uh, after that, once you insert, you can uh, retrieve that information by ex uh, by executing select query. For that, uh, I will this will take this select query and execute. So you can see. Uh, all the information of the author's table can display like this. So I think uh, uh, this is the uh, tutorial I am going. I am planning to explain. So I think uh, as an initial stage, uh, uh, you have uh, you have a clear understanding about how to create a MySQL database in Azure platform uh, as a platform as a service. So in the as a second step, I I have I have explained how to connect to that MySQL database uh, through the MySQL Workbench. So after that, through that MySQL Workbench, I have explained you how to create a database, how to uh, 
the create tables and how to insert data and how to query that created tables data so if you have any issues with that so you can comment on the comment sections and you can share with your friends thank you